Welcome back to another video with Sandra. If you're new here, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below this video. For my already subscribers, thank you guys. Please share my videos with your friends, families, relatives, loved ones, and everyone around you. Thank you guys. Please click that subscribe button while watching this video. So let's get started with today's topic. This is your first time traveling abroad like me. You are in the right place watching this video. This is the right video for you. Please, I will advise you to carry more food. Carry food. Don't travel light. At first, I wanted to travel light to take pictures, make videos, but when my sister told me, Sandra, come. I've traveled before and I know how it is out there. Things are very, very expensive. If you know what's good for you, you better pack food. Because I don't want to hear anything complain. Carry food. So I have to go on Google. I search the country I'm going to. And their food is different from what we eat in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay. That was when it dawned on me that, okay, I have to carry food. <laughs> so I started packing. She helped me a lot. Thank you, Florence. Please subscribe to her YouTube channel, Flodges Moments, over there. You'll see there. See? Flodges Moments. So please subscribe to her YouTube channel. And here I am. Thank God I brought some things. So I'm going to be showing you guys now what I brought from Nigeria to Jamaica. <laughs> so much. So this is my dry beans here these dry beans wash it dry it grind it so i can use it for my moi moi and my akara so these are my honey beans i've used part of it already this is my poundo yam and this is my eggusi this is my hungry rice in the northern part of nigeria it's called acha this is tamba that's some um, finger millet comprised of from um, soya beans granite um chill pepper cloves so many ingredients this is my semo vita this is my yellow gari i forgot i didn't carry red gari um i didn't carry white gari so this is my pepper this is my tin tomatoes i have combination of different tin tomato here this is tomato jaws um i have tasty tom i have pepper and onion I have so many different types of tin tomato and here I have my Maggi here I have my mixed spices different different spices combination here I have my Obono here I have my crayfish here I have my mixed spices and bay leaf this is the bay leaf here I have my garlic and this is also another spices here I have my turmeric, here I have my ugu, it's a combination of ugu, bitter leaf and uziza, as you can see, this is uziza, ugu is here, then bitter leaf is down, this is my ginger, it's so small, but I will still add another one if I see here, this is my bush meat, I'm almost done eating everything, and this is my oil. Voila. So these are the things I brought from Nigeria to Jamaica. Carry food. I know why I'm emphasizing on packing food. I know some of you are wondering and trying to ask how I was able to pass with this without the custom officers removing it from my bag. Okay? Let me tell you guys. You see this oil? I froze it. I froze it for four days before removing it that same day of traveling. You can freeze it for one day to get frozen. Then I solo tape it, this masking tape. I wrap it, put it inside leather. Use the white solo tape, I solo tape it. Put it inside another leather, use masking tape. The wrapping it, and sure you guys are seeing it. I wrapped it over and over and over because I blocked it. I froze it inside the fridge and after everything, I was able to put it inside, under my bag, under my box, and I zip it before putting every other thing. So I was very lucky they didn't see it. 
you might not be lucky they will see it and they will trash it but please do not allow people to deceive you things to pack and things not to pack please pack everything except things that are contraband pack food when you get to the custom place if they if they want to remove it fine sometimes people complain that the custom officers those checking their bags and stuff they are trashing their things let me tell you guys the secret all you need to do is to remove that stuff that you bought in its original packaging and pour it inside a ziploc bag then seal it solitaire it like i i i did mine most of my stuffs i solitaire them so that it will not get torn or pop some things you double them you double the ziploc bag so that it will not get torn or pop because i was very happy when i reached my final destination i checked my things everything was intact nothing like um uh, my stuff being torn or everything poor or anything splash it was properly sealed it has this clip and i also use the tip on the amount of the ziploc bag to wrap everything so guys if you have anything like um my pando yam it has its original packaging but i have to remove it and i poured it inside a ziploc bag some things i removed a girl complained that her attachment with ones they said is contraband or something i told her you would have removed she should remove it from its um pack and just put it inside normal leather they will allow you to pass with it i was very lucky they didn't say this this is very good um i couldn't afford to lose or miss this because this is original oil from nigeria you guys know what i'm talking about and it's a native oil i don't think i will get it around even if i will get it in this country it won't be as good as this special oil guys so do not listen to people telling you oh don't pack this they will not allow you don't take this don't take that my brothers and sisters carry you will be lucky that you will be able to you, you will pass that custom place you will be very lucky some people don't get lucky because they will trash out so many things but once you do your packaging very well you see how i packaged mine some things i removed them from its original bag and put it in a um, ziploc bag you will be lucky you will pass carry if not you will be regretting why you did not carry some things i won't carry them here now Yes, I carry onions. I'm managing it before it's finished, then I'll start looking for their own onions. Yes, I practice. If it means paying for extra luggage, please save up money and pay for that extra luggage. I know why I'm telling you this. You will feel, ah, oh, why should I pay for extra luggage? Yes, you have 23, 23 kg that you can carry to. I don't know, Lufthansa airline. If you're paying for just a normal economy, I guess it's just one 23 kg. But if you're paying for premium, you have um, two 23, 23 kg. Pay for extra if it means paying for extra. Because it will really, really help you. At first, you will feel, oh, why should I pay a lot of money for extra baggage? My dear, pay for it. Because if you're coming to this country, when you see, when you check the prices of things, if you're going, if you're traveling abroad, you will feel, oh, if I had known, I would have paid for that extra luggage because the things abroad, they are not like ours in Africa or Nigeria. Their things are very, very expensive. So I know what I'm telling you because I'm here and I went to the cheapest market to see if I can get cheap things. But still, their things are way expensive. Expensive. You still have time, opportunity. Please dry Ugu, dry bitter leaf. Buy them and dry them now. Uziza, dry them. They are not weighty. They are just like the. They are just like the ziplock bag. They are not weighty. Just buy them and dry them. The reason why I didn't pack more. Because it's a rush something and it's a time minute thing. This is just the little I can carry my Oziza, Oziza leaf. I have um, my bitter leaf here and my Ugu here. 
I'm regretting why I didn't carry more because this is very important here. So as it is right now, I'm just managing. I'm just managing it because I haven't seen something like this over here. So I'm managing the little I have here. I will advise you to pack food. Pack as much as you can, as much as you could. That will sustain you for some time first before you start buying food outside. It will really help you because they don't have a, a Nigerian food or African food, but they, they import the food. So while importing it to a particular country, it's usually expensive. It's usually on the high side, and when you don't, when you're not used to their food, you have no choice than to buy your own food in African stores. To buy your own food and you know how it is it's usually expensive but you don't have a choice not to buy it it will be paining you because some things you will see that yes you have it in your backyard like a uh, leaf ugu and the rest some things you have it in your backyard that you don't even care about out there out of nigeria they are expensive so it's usually painful when you are buying those things with your hard earned money when they are very expensive that's why I know why I'm telling you that. Please, pack food. So thank you for watching my videos. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below this video. Please share my videos with your friends, families, relatives, and everyone around you. Thank you, guys. Mwah. Mwah.